Hello. Let's have a look today at something unusual. Uh, a little selection tool, in fact a pair of selection tools that uh, you might have seen and perhaps wondered what they do. And uh, they're very simple and sometimes useful. So if I go over to here, where I've got the rectangular marquee tools usually seen first, I right click on this and it's these two down here, column and row. And they both do the same thing, one vertically and the other horizontally. So let's click on the column marquee here and we'll leave it on new just for now. And if I click somewhere, nothing seems to happen. But if I click and move, it's selecting a row. In fact, it's selecting sorry, a column, it's a column which is actually one pixel wide. That's all it is. And I can move it to anywhere here. Something else I can do with this is if I hold down the shift key, click this and drag, now I can make it any width I like. So it's for useful for when you want to select from top to bottom a part of the picture. You know, for example, if you're working on the edge of a picture, you can just click here and just pull in a bit there. And you don't have to use, for example, the, the rectangular marquee to worry about the the whole rest of it. So if, for example, if I, was, if I was putting on a border, I could use this to select the edge there. Um, here's another use for this. If I right click this and click on the rectangular tool here, put it on new, and I'm selecting, say, this here. But look, I've kind of over selected here. I've gone into that bit. So what I could do here, right click here, go into the column marquee, and I'll control roll zoom into this so I can see exactly where I'm going. Now if I click on subtract, and if I click on drag across here, it starts subtracting from here with the shift key down. There it is. You see the shift key lets me subtract any amount. And I let's go to here, let go of the mouse button and go out again and there I've snipped off a bit of the edge so just nibbling the edge is, is a useful thing that you can do so let's do a control D to get rid of that another really sort of clever trick with it is sort of manual sharpening let's zoom right into this and I can start with a new here and I'm just going to put right on the edge here. I can move this back and forth to position it. Um, just clicking there. And that's called say here. And I let go there. And it's going even closer to this. See, what I'd like to do is put a line in here. Maybe I'll just move this across one. There it is. Now, I want to fill this with something different. So I'm actually going to put in this on another pixel layer so that I can fiddle with it and delete it if I don't like it or change it rather than writing on the original. And I'm going to go up here to the color picker. I'll just pick a color nearby. Just click on that and that appears up here. And I want a bit darker version of that to put in here. And here's another trick. If I hold down the shift key, click on one of these and slide them, look, they all move together. So I'm just darkening that color. So it's the same basic color, but just darker. So that now if I click on the flood fill tool and click within this, there you go, it's filled that up there. Now what does this do? Let's control T to D to get rid of it. If I zoom out, It almost disappears. And what I, let's say if I click on this here, see the way that just, if you put a line around the edge of things, it makes it just a little bit sharper, seemingly. And what we can do as well is if this is going to look a bit odd, we can just blur that a bit. So if I go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and 
I pick up my control for this here and I literally I can make it disappear because it's so blurred but I just go down here to and it's literally a fraction is good let's leave that at a 0 0.3 of a pixel and apply that so when I zoom out here it doesn't look quite so much even if I'm looking closely it doesn't look so much of being the wrong thing and of course I've got a line going all the way down here but that's easy enough to delete if I right click on here click the marquee tool and just select all the way down here there we go then just hit the delete key and that's gone because we're on a separate pixel layer and control D and there we have that nicely selected and of course just to mention the horizontal one, click on the row there. This is exactly the same. Click on here and move. I can move it up and down. If I hold down the shift key, I can open it up. There. A very simple couple of tools, occasionally useful. Thanks for watching.